This is the Electric Car Guide video review. This is the Mitsubishi iMeve electric car. It's a small four seat hatchback that Mitsubishi say is ideal for families looking for a compact runabout. So what's it like? Well, for practicality and ease of use, the iMeve is a very good car. In overall size, the car is similar to a Fiat Panda, but the interior space is huge. Space for passengers in both the front and rear is excellent. Whilst the car is quite narrow, in terms of legroom and headroom, it has more passenger space than many much larger cars, including the Nissan Leaf. The car comes with a very high specification. Air conditioning, satellite navigation, a reasonable sound system, Bluetooth, MP3 input, rear reversing camera, heated driver's seat and traction control all come as standard. Fit and finish is reasonable, comparing favourably with other small city cars, although it is fair to say it does lag behind the Nissan Leaf in this regard. Before the car was launched, Mitsubishi gave me a prototype of this car for a year. I used it as our main family car and it withstood the rigours of family life with two young children very well. Of course, the one thing that makes a Mitsubishi I different from all other city cars is that instead of a combustion engine, it's powered by an electric motor. So what does this mean in real life? Well, as you'd expect, it means the car's very quiet. There's no noise or vibration that you'd get from a conventional engine. There's no gearbox either, although you do have a gear lever that's similar to an automatic lever in a conventional car. As the car pulls away, you're struck by three things. Firstly, it's so quiet. Secondly, performance is instant. And thirdly, it feels remarkably quick and refined. The Mitsubishi i is no sports car, but it is an entertaining car to drive. 0 to 60 takes 13 seconds, and whilst that may not sound fast, it's more than a second quicker than most other small city cars. And because the power is always instantly available, with no gear changes required, it feels much quicker than the figures su suggest. The car accelerates strongly throughout the range, topping out and at an electronically limited 81 miles per hour. It cruises along very happily at motorway speeds. Handling and ride is good, especially at lower speeds with minimal body roll. At higher speeds the car can be pushed into a drift if driven enthusiastically, but this is very easily controlled by lifting off the accelerator. Around town the car is an absolute joy to use. It's effortless driving with no gear changes and instant power to pull away. It has a tiny turning circle and its small size makes it easy to park. So in short, this car is very good to drive. It's fast, has entertaining handling and is enjoyable to use. If you expect electric cars to be boring and sl slow, this car dispels the myth. Safety is a strong point with this car. As you'd expect, the car comes with a full complement of airbags and recently achieved a four-star crash test rating in the Euro NCAP tests, which is excellent for this size of car. Of course, one of the big questions is always about range. Well, Mitsubishi claim a range of up to 92 miles, and in the past week I have achieved this range in pure inner city driving, using eco driving techniques and restricting my top speed to around 30 miles per hour. I also carried out several other driving tests. These, these suggest a more realistic range is 45 to 50 miles driving on motorways, 50 to 60 miles across country, and 70 to 80 miles in and around town. Range is reduced by fast driving, having a heater on full blast, or when using the car in extremely cold winter conditions. In the middle of winter, in very cold conditions, using the car with a heater on full blast, you can halve the range. When you need to recharge the car, simply plug the power cable into a standard household power socket. Plug it into the car and leave it. The car takes around six hours to charge up completely. Most people plug their cars in overnight to give them a full tank of electricity the next day. If you want to charge up whilst you're around and about, there's a couple of options available to you there too. Just plug into one of the electric car charging points that are cropping up in many towns and cities, or make arrangements with whoever you're visiting to plug in there. The cost of an hour's charge is around 30 pence, and a full recharge costs between £1 and £1.50. Mitsubishi have also built a fast charger into this car, allowing the car to be charged up in around half an hour. At present, fast charging stations are very few and far between, but they will become a lot more commonplace in the next few years. In terms of the environment, this car has a lower carbon footprint than an equivalent combustion engine car. 
I measured the amount of electricity used to charge up this car after driving it on a mixed route of dual carriageways, urban roads and city centre traffic. Charging up using nighttime electricity, my carbon footprint was just 45 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometre, which is about half as much as the most economical combustion engine car available today. So, the Mitsubishi is economical, it's practical, it's cheap to run and it's fun to drive. So who's going to buy it? In the United Kingdom, the average car travels between 22 and 23 miles a day. At the same time, 60% of all the cars on our roads are used by households with more than one car. This is the main market for this car. If you need to go farther than the electric car will take you, take the other car. Most families who have taken on an electric car have found that it becomes the main family car for most journeys. It becomes a car of choice because it's cheap to run, it's easy to use and it's better to drive. The Mitsubishi fits this role rather well. It's a fun car that's good to drive and cheap to run. It's good for the environment and it's surprisingly spacious for such a small car. With the cost of fuel climbing alarmingly, now could be a very good time to consider an electric car. This Mitsubishi is definitely worth a look. The 2011 Electric Car Guide gives you all the information you need to know about electric cars. It's available from Amazon and all good book retailers. Find out more by visiting www.theelectriccarguide.com.